All right, Brooke and I are gonna go out and try to get a hog. Dead saw 13 this morning, walking just down the hill from us. They went east, so we're gonna ease that away. See if we can find out where they're bedded down at. Brooke is using a 17 cal, and I'm gonna be using a backup, which is a 223 pistol. Laser sights, holographic sights, everything. <laughs> So anyways, we'll see what we can get into. All right, so the 13 hogs came from the west over there. Came right over here. You can see where they churned the leaves up pretty good. Creek is just to our left. We'll probably da drop down a little bit lower. There's a good chance that those hogs are down in the sand where it's nice and cool, just up above the water level. Blue herons over there squabbling. Summertime just comes around and see you, boy. Summertime just comes around and see you. Let the sun shine down, she be inside crying. Cause summertime just comes around. <laughs> something has crossed the creek here, a lot of something. They have tore that bank up. Tore up the bank right there and then worked their way up the embankment. Probably the hogs that Dad saw earlier this morning. Dang. Hogs got busy over here. It's not hardly any grass showing out here. Big old circle. Just rooted up dirt. You know what kind of skull it is? Kale. Okay. Maybe. But this jawbone right down here in the grass might give you a better indication. Nope. That's a hog. That's a hog. Those are tusks there. Yep. That's a hog. Oh. I call this a ride. It is hot and muggy out here. All right, I come back down here in the valley and I set up a cellular trail camera right on a crossing here. So hopefully I'll get some pictures that'll come in. Give me a clue what's running around down here. All right, so next day, Brooke and I are gonna try the north side of the creek. We're already, since we crossed the fence, there's already areas here that's tore up by hogs. They even uh, tore up a log there. So, it looks like the hogs are concentrating in the leaves. So we're gonna stay up on the high ground instead of down on the creek bottom and uh, just work our way slowly to the east. Got the wind out of the southeast, so it should be in our favor. And uh, we're just gonna creep through the woods, see if we can come across some feeding. See how it goes. You wanna use your shooting stick? Brooke just missed the shot. Um, no way you did. She was pulling on the trigger, but the bolt had bumped up, and so it wouldn't allow her to pull the trigger. So once we figured out the bolt needed to be slid all the way down, it was a hair trigger, and it went off before she could get a good target. I hear him up there. 
Yeah, we're gonna ease in there. Try to get a little closer again. All right, give it another shot. I know the trail the hogs would have taken, so we're gonna ease right along this creek over here. See if we can get back up on them. Hopefully they didn't run off the property. We're getting close to the property line. Well, this is where they were hanging out. Getting cool, getting mud on them. Keep the mosquitoes on ticks off of them. All right, we're down at the edge of the property. Pretty sure the hogs went straight east onto our neighbor's acreage. All right, just a quick rehash on these bolt actions. If this bolt comes up a little bit like that, it prevents the gun from shooting for safety reasons. Obviously, you don't want the gun going off and this bolt come flying back into your face. So what happened is while we were out walking, this bolt got bumped up just a little bit. I, I almost didn't even notice it. But uh, that's what prevented her from being able to pull the trigger when she had the uh, scope on sights. Once we figured it out, got that bent back down, and she was expecting a really hard trigger pull. So she uh, took a deep breath. The uh, crosshairs went up over the hog, and uh, she put a little too much pressure on the trigger, and it went off. That is a mushroom. You know what kind of mushroom? Mm -hmm. That is a coral mushroom. Oh, I was going to say that. I, I know. It's right on the tip of your tongue. I know. It's like coral. <laughs> I was certain of it. Too bad that's not what we're hunting for. Yeah, that's true. Can't get totally tucked in there, can he? It's not. He's a bigger one. Yeah, he is. All right. Brooke found some blackberries. Oh man, those are nice size too. Yeah. Heck yeah. None for daddy. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> That's all right. Oh, I'm only parched. Been out here two hours today. I think to drink. I offered you my drink. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. All right, so we went and got the uh, cellular trail camera. We're going to move it over to that hog waller. That way it'll kind of give us a heads up if the hogs come back through. at the mud hole. I've got my cellular trail camera set up right there. Looks like most of the limbs are going to be out of the way. All right, Brooks wanting to give it another shot. So we're out here on the north side. It's later in the evening. It's kind of cooling off. It's cloudy. So there may be a possibility those hogs may get up and start feeding up here in the leaves and the oaks. So we're going to give it a shot and see what we can find. Bunch of baby armadillos. I've never seen a group of baby armadillos. Is it all noise? Yeah, it is. I knew that was an awful lot of noise for just squirrels, even though there's a new batch of squirrels out. I got four in the frame right now. They can't see where the crap, but they can hear. They're just, they're just wildlife here. Oh, it's. They are. Yeah, <laughs> breeding turtles right there. Brooke's gonna see how close she can get to them. Stepping on one. <laughs> I 
There's the other one. A little late to be getting spooked. <laughs> just got a notice on my phone. Looks like a deer just came by the hog waller. We're still trekking through the wood. Make sure your bolt is closed. All right, now your hogs up ahead. I saw one with the binoculars just a second ago. Lee, look at him. There's a bunch of them. Which one did you aim for? The white one. Okay, the black and white one. All right, good. So we'll kind of get an idea of where she was at when you fired, right over there. And then we'll start looking for blood. We'll give it a few minutes, though. There you go. So you got blood? Yeah. All right, Brooks found first blood. Awesome. Yep, she was on the other side of the tree. Good job. Man, I'm glad you can see that. God dang. This one. All right, Brooke has tracked the blood trail to the property fence line. So now we got to call our neighbor that lives down in Dallas, Texas. At least I think that's where he lives and get permission to cross over onto his place and uh, get the hog. All right, I got a hold of the property owner and uh, he's given us permission to get over there and retrieve the hog. Uh, Dad's down here also. They're up there at a walkthrough gate and I'm just holding the position where the blood is. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but uh, it's about to get dark. It probably still looks like light on the camera, but uh, light is fading pretty quick. Show Papa where you had the blood, hun, so he can mark it while you while you follow the trail out. Our eyesight isn't nearly as good as Brooks. Right here, right It's getting concerning. We're down to tiny, tiny little specks of blood. We're on our hands and knees. Brooke just found another one right there. Hands and knees trying to find it. It's going to be tough. We're just down to the tiniest specks of blood. And we're down to using our cell phones. Flashlights have pretty much died on us. Mine's completely gone. And Brooke has tried her dangdest. We've been out here for hours now. And she's just finding the tiniest specks here and there. But it doesn't look like we're going to get this one. Everything but the pigs, Robert? Yeah, everything but the hog. Here we are again, last hunt, last evening. We're gonna do the same game plan that we tried before. See if we can get on some hogs. Normally, 
on my trips down here I'm lucky to come across hogs one time so far I've done it two times and I've got to try to see if I can do it a third time and hopefully we can pull it all together sun is already starting to dip down we purposely waited till evening time so hopefully the hogs will be coming out of their bed and start milling around and feeding leaves have really dried out over the last couple of days so we're having to take it pretty easy we've got a little rain shower coming in probably won't amount to too much Checking out the mud hole. Nothing's been in there except uh, maybe a lizard or something came across there. Something small. Certainly no pigs. So we're going to sit on this log. We've gotten a position where our scent should blow back behind us and over the creek. So if they come through here this evening, we should get a good shot at them. Just hope they come through. Pretty much going to wrap this hunting trip up. If nothing else, it's been a great time with my daughter and down here with my parents, spending time with them. We had some great meals and some some good laughs. Can't always put meat in the ice chest. We came really close, but Brooke learned several lessons regarding the gun and shooting, and so we'll come back and try this again another time. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Make time to get out there with your kids and your parents because we all have limited time. Get out there and enjoy your time with them. All right, till next time, see you later. Bye.